Hey class, today we're going to learn how to weave using plastic bags and a piece of cardboard. So the first thing you're going to do is flatten out your plastic bag and then you're going to start by cutting off the handles and then cutting off the bottom. So this way we kind of have like one long tube. You're going to unfold it all the way out and then you're going to fold it up all the way up. Doesn't matter how big your fold is and then you're gonna cut it into pieces. So this is gonna form our plarn, which is plastic yarn. And you're gonna have like these mini circles after that and then you're gonna cut it in, in half. So this way you have like one long strip and multiple strips and you're gonna do that again. So I decided to use a white bag. So I have green bags, white bag, and just so I have a variety of colors. So whatever bag you have will do. So the next thing we're gonna work on is our cardboard. I chose a piece of cardboard that's not as big as a piece of paper, but almost and not as wide. And then we're gonna make inch marks all the way around. Try to make it an even number. Um, so you'll see I do five, but then later I adjust and do six. And try to keep them even ways apart and then do the same thing on the other side. And then you're gonna cut about an inch down. This does not have to be perfectly an inch all the way down, but you can kind of eyeball it from there, make sure it's even. So after you make those slits, you're gonna start tying some yarn together, kind of just a little knot. So this way you have kind of one long piece of yarn or plarn. And then you're gonna use that to kind of weave through the slits that you made. So leave a bit like of a tail, you'll see why in a bit and then do it right across. And then you're gonna use that same piece to go all the way around. So front and then back. And then you're gonna tie those pieces together just temporarily anyway. So it's nice and tight. Not too tight though, we want it to be a little bit loose. Now we have our foundation to start weaving. You can either start by tying a knot with one of the pieces of yarn on one end, or you can just start by weaving right away, like I show you here. So you start by going over and under, and then pull the plarn all the way through, and then you'll tie a knot at the end. So you'll just see me tie a couple different types of knots, just to demonstrate. So like I said, you start by going over, and then under the next one, and then over that one, next one, and then make sure that you do the opposite going back. So you use the same piece of plarn for that one. And you'll see it gets easier as you go on. So continue to repeat that process, and then eventually you'll finish that one color, but don't worry, you'll do the exact same thing as when we were making our foundation for to start weaving. You'll just tie another piece to it, kind of tie a knot and then you'll continue on going over under over under and don't forget to kind of move it up as you can see I'm kind of scrunching it upward this way there's not too many gaps it's nice and tight a nice and tight weave So as you see me starting the process to finish up, I kind of pull things a little bit tighter upward. You don't want to pull it tight inward. You don't want it to start wide and then get really thin and then end up wide at the end. Um, you want to keep it pretty even, so don't pull it too tight. Only push it upward to make that tighter. You don't want your weaving to be too tight. So I always kind of pull it apart at the end to make sure it's even. And then you'll see me attach my last color in a little bit. And I'll show you how to tie off the ends and don't worry about all those little pieces sticking out. We'll solve that in just a second by either tucking in that extra piece or by cutting off and making sure those knots are really tight when you do cut it off. 
So you do finish off with a knot, depends on what knot you want to use. I just tied a simple knot at the end and tucked in the tail there. Now we're going to turn over our cardboard and untie those corners and you can cut down the middle right there and then you're going to start pulling these out of our slits here that kind of kept our foundation tight and then you're going to tie the first two together and the knot at the end and then you're going to tie the next two together. This is why we did an even number. It's okay if you did an odd number, it just might be a little awkward but you always want to do even, just to make it a little easier on yourself. And then we're going to repeat on the other side. So tying two together in a knot, and then again two in a knot, and then the last two in a knot. And then I'm going to trim the ends. You don't have to keep the ends. I'm going to make tassels for mine. You don't have to make tassels for yours. So I just separate the plarn a little bit and then cut some extra slits into those. This creates that fringe-like texture at the end. And then if it's looking a little bare, you can go ahead and tie some extra pieces around. So in the space in between the tassels that we've already cut off, the ones that were used for our foundation, you'll tie another extra piece because you'll definitely have some extra plarn left over. And then you'll repeat that process on the other side. So you've officially completed your plastic bag weaving project. So I use mine as a little coaster for my plant. You can make a small one, you can make a big one, you can make tiny coasters for your drinks, or you can make a full-blown carpet depending on what size cardboard you have. It's all up to you. Can't wait to see what you guys make.